For the latest action figure news, check out Toy News International and MarvelousNews.com. Link in the description below. Thank you for the continued support to our online shop and YouTube channel. We are giving away a Marvel Legends Wolverine action figure once we reach 700 subscribers. Tuggernaut Collectibles here for an action figure review. Today we are looking at a limited edition action figure from the Philippines, Darna. Only 1,500 pieces was made by Loose Collector and Halimau Sculptures. On top, it says Ravello's Comics Universe, a nod to the creator Mars Ravello. The box has a blue color on the upper half and red on the bottom, which are the primary colors of the Philippine flag. On the side is the art of Darna. On the back is a product shot and read up. On the other side is the same art of Darna. Short read up says, Earthwoman Narda transforms into the invincible warrior Darna. In this form, she stands up for the oppressed against both common criminals and supernatural evil. 500 pieces include this limited edition trading card. Pause right now to read the additional details about her. On the top of the box is the word Darna with the gold wing ornament from her helmet. Inside is the action figure alone. There is no additional accessories like an alternate head or hands. She is secured by two plastic shells which can be removed easily. Pulling her out from the plastic bag, we now have the figure at hand. Though Darna's costume has varied over the years, this action figure possessed the common elements from all of her costume. A red headdress helmet with a ruby set on a gold wing ornament, a red bikini with a gold star on each brassier cup, gold bracelet on both wrists, gold medallion belt with loin pot, and high red boots with high heels. There is no peg hole at the bottom of her feet. For the succeeding video, no copyright is claimed. Using the GMA Network Darna series from 2009, I will describe how Narda becomes Darna. One evening, Narda saw a shooting star. Following it to its crash site, she found a celestial stone in white. Hiding it from others, she swallowed the stone. Remembering the inscription of the stone, she makes her iconic battle cry. Narda transforms into Darna. In terms of the costume design of Marian Rivera's Darna, it is very similar to this action figure. The headdress is the same, the accessories such as the belt and the loincloth looks exactly the same. There is a minor differences in terms of the color and design of her bikini. The stars are metallic gold just like the action figure. In terms of Marian Rivera's Darna costume, it closely resembles what we have here in action figure form. Before TV and movies, Darna first appeared in Filipino Comics No. 77, published 1950. The creator Mars Ravello based her design from the DC Comics Superman. Popular cover artist Art Germ, Stanley Lau, in his recent trip to Manila, showed several artworks giving homage to the iconic Filipino superhero. In the movies, Rosana del Rosario is the first Darna actress in 1951. The most successful Darna in the movies was Bill Masantos, who appeared in four movies during the 70s and the 80s. In the 1986 film Captain Marvel, Sharon Cuneta appeared as Darna. In the early 2000s, Angel Loxine became the definitive Darna of the modern age. She took the mantle in 2005 and the show aired in GMA Network. After playing Darna for several seasons, Angel Loxine transferred networks, so GMA Network needed to find a new actress for the role. Marian Rivera took over as Darna in 2009. Over a decade later, ABS-CBN got the rights for Darna and pick Jane De Leon as the new lead for the series titled Mars Ravelos Darna. Premiered in August 15, 2022, Narda is introduced as an emergency medical technician who inherited the mantle Darna from her mother. 
Even though Narda doubts her capability, she pondered on her mother's words as she gets ready for the responsibility. A powerful line she delivered was, The greatest sin is not helping when you are more than capable to do so. She then swallows the celestial rock and delivers the signature cry of Darna. In terms of Jane de Leon's costume, it is a modern take of the classic Darna costume. As you can see here, it is very different to the action figure. Narda's mother, Yonor, is played by Isa Calzado in a separate TV series entitled Unang Darna, translated as The First Darna. In this series, it shows her journey on training Narda, her daughter, to take up the mantle after her. Looking closely at the action figure, we can see her eyes are blue and she has red lips. There is some blush on red paint on, on her face and her hair has a strike of blue in certain parts in the mold but it is mostly black. In terms of her body, it is flesh in color like Filipinos and there is some blush of red as well in certain parts of her muscle. In terms of her boots, it is all red, same color as her bikini, and there is some paint wash of dark red on certain areas. And in terms of her loincloth, it is very hard and it can easily snap, so be careful. In terms of her boots, she has high heels. Comparing Darna to a 6-inch scale Hasbro Marble Legends, we can see that the Marble Legends plastic is more of the softer one, unlike Darna which is a little bit um, solid in terms of the plastic. In terms of the single jointed elbows, the Marvel Legends has been less single jointed elbows. Though lately, Marvel Legends has improved making it a double jointed pinless elbow. You can see here Darna's elbow has a very obvious pin, but it's hidden because of the same color of flesh. In terms of the upper torso, Marvel Legends skin. Uh, swivel and hinge with great range compared to Darna. There is some limit in terms of how much she can hinge a little bit backwards and forwards. In terms of the sash or the loincloth, the Marvel Legends ones is better because it is made of soft plastic unlike Darna's. In terms of the swivel, the swivel is on the upper thigh, unlike Darna which is in the lower thigh near the knees. Again, this loincloth is a little bit fragile so be careful because it's snapped back when you move her legs forward and back. So it is better if they went with the same as the Marvel Legends one. The Marvel Legends feet can hinge forward and back and has a peg hole. It is the same as with Darna over here, but it is better executed with Hasbro. The Darna action figure stands 15.8 cm or 6.2 inches tall. There is no recorded exact height of Darna, but she is approximately 5 feet tall without her high heel boots. So this figure is relatively close to that. Here are some Marvel Legends size comparison beginning with Deadpool and Wolverine, Shadow Cat and Dark Phoenix, Omega Red and Bishop, The Age of Apocalypse, Apocalypse and the Semnu build a figure. Age of Apocalypse Shadow Cat and Blink, Namor and the Deluxe Rhino action figure, Miles Morales and the Retro Spider Man, Emma Frost and Tigra, other 6 inch scale action figure, the Mafex Psylocke and Gambit, 
here is some Asian superpower side by side, Psylocke and Darna. Here she is besides the McFarland Toys 7 inch scale Batman Devastator and the 6 inch scale Mafex Wolverine. Here she is besides the 6 inch scale PX exclusive Cyclops and Old Man Logan. Here she is beside 7 inch scale figures Marvel Select, Psylocke and Sabretooth, Marvel Select, Hulk and Juggernaut. For articulation, her head can move from side to side. She cannot look up that much because of her hair. She cannot look down that much as well. Her arm can extend that far. She can do a 360 here. She has a bicep swivel. She has single jointed elbow. Her wrist can swivel, it cannot hinge. She has a upper torso swivel right here. She can split a little, kick forward that much. She has double jointed knees. Her boot has a hidden swivel there. Her feet can hinge forward and back and as an ankle rocker. The Darna action figure has been produced by Halimau Sculptures and the design was by the Loose Collector. The Loose Collector worked on with another company called Executive Replicas and he has designed Tarna, Lady Death, and the other ladies of Dynamite Comics, which includes Purgatory, Vampirella, and Red Sonia. He also created a monster hide which will be coming up soon. Limited to 1,500 pieces, this Tarna action figure was a little bit difficult to acquire overseas and is on the expensive side, over hundreds of dollars in USD. However, the significance of this action figure to Filipinos is this is the very first 6-inch scale well-articulated Filipino superhero action figure. And thankfully, it is Darna, the most iconic one. In terms of the design, some may question the practicality and the appropriateness of her costume. Thankfully, the loose collector did not shy away from copying how Mars Ravello envisioned this character. She is the ideal woman in terms of looks and character just like any other super-powered woman in comic books. She possessed the beauty and the power of a goddess. Thank you for watching. I have other videos in this channel with the same in-depth character analysis. I hope you check it out. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and ring the notification bell.